will try not to get emotional because it is an emotional topic for me. Did my nails yesterday. The website is now published. Hey everybody, it's good to see you here. Thank you for stopping by and I hope all of you are doing great. I started that morning working on my website. I will say hello to the camera later on today. It's just that I started that morning pretty tired. James went away to Israel and every time that he goes away, everyone that I know is kind of like taking advantage of this time and want to spend some quality time. So I've been a pretty social butterfly in the past few days and on the day that I was filming, I woke up super tired. So I needed some time before I could actually speak to the camera but I will do that eventually in the vlog and my goodness I talk a lot <laughs> so it's actually for the best that I didn't start with speaking to the camera anyway we have a long day ahead of us so grab yourself a drink make sure that you're comfortable and I hope you'll enjoy this video everybody it's Eden it's actually 11 30 right now so it's more of a good afternoon everyone I'm aware it's the first time that I'm speaking to the camera today and it's because I am so tired today I probably look very tired as well yeah it's been a few days weeks even yeah so I'm super tired but I did manage to be productive a little bit this morning so I've been working on my website I have a website if you don't know and it's basically basically a space for me to write. You know that I'm journaling, so this space is to share some thoughts that I have, but in a more coherent way. I haven't been very consistent with it, but lately I'm trying to be and I'm loving it so far. I feel like journaling is not enough for me and I need another outlet because I love writing and I love uh, sharing as well. So. I'm really loving this and because I started to enjoy it even more I wanted to have a better version for my website. I started with GoDaddy that was the platform I used for my website but now I'm transferring everything into Squarespace because I feel like it looks way more professional, it's easier, there are many features that I don't have in GoDaddy and drove me crazy. So right now I'm playing with Squarespace platform. It's almost ready but there are a few blog posts that I am transferring right now. So hopefully I'll be able to finish everything today and publish this website today. And yeah, you can check it out if you're interested. Let me prepare you, it's not the best, it's a start and I don't have a lot of blog posts. It's just really a few, I don't know, maybe eight. Between each post there is a huge gap of time. So because I've been working on the, the, the platform and the design of the website, I didn't post anything lately. I think the last one was last month, but I really hope to continue posting because I've noticed in the past few months that I did post that it was really, it, it, it had a good impact on me and I feel fulfilled. Although nobody reads it, like literally nobody reads this blog. You know, you can see the analytics and the back end. Nobody reads the, the the blog post, but but that's fine. Actually, at the beginning when I um, launched this website, you have this voice in your head that tells you, "Oh, that's so embarrassing. Everyone's going to read it now," and all of that. So I was very aware of myself and what I'm writing, and and you know, I wasn't I wasn't free at all because I thought that everyone is going to read these posts, and also with YouTube as well it's amazing how no one cares it's mind-blowing even and even people that I'm sure they care about me deeply they don't care about these things so people know that I have a website but none of them asked me to send them the website or anything of this sort really and even people that asked me to send them the website I don't think they ever actually read anything or even clicked the link if i'm truly honest because 
if someone sends you a website and you click on it and you read the content you have a conversation about it none of them talk to me about it none of them seem to like even comment on the design of the website or anything like that and that's totally fine don't get me wrong first of all no one owes me anything and they don't have to waste or spend their time reading what I'm writing or you know watching my videos or anything like that and second of all that is perfect for me because slowly after realizing that I noticed that I'm much more free and there's no better feeling than feeling like you can write whatever you want you don't need to address anyone you don't need to make excuses you don't need to be politically correct or anything like that you can share your personal stuff you can write about whatever comes to mind and you don't need to adjust or think about who is going to read it and what's going to happen if they read it or anything like that so it makes me super happy comfortable and i think that's why i started to love it at the beginning i didn't like it i did it because i thought i have to and the content that i wrote about was content that i thought maybe people want to read about maybe it can be useful for people to read about but then i realized that nobody cares so i thought to myself okay so i might as well just write what comes to mind or about topics that i feel like i want to talk about or just about you know personal stuff as well and then I started to enjoy it and that's why I decided to take this to the next level to make it more I don't know beautiful and you know play with the design which is also another part that I like so yeah I hope I finish this today and there's a bunch of other things that I want to work on today 10 minutes before 12 I'm starving right now so I think I'll take a break I'll have something to eat and then I'll continue by the way I did my nails yesterday they're matte pink. I love them. Adina, she's the nail technician that I'm going to and she is so talented. I love them. What do you think? The sun is out. before two. Last time I picked up the camera it was about 11 30 and I was starving. I really wanted to eat something but as I was waiting for the food to heat up I got caught up with more work on my website. Yeah that's ADHD my friends. I got hyper focused on that and now it's just that my body is physically hurting from sitting down on the dining table that we have here. I wasn't even working in my room because it would have been more comfortable but because I was working here, luckily I was working here so it was uncomfortable and now I get to have a break and eat my lunch. I have some soup that I made yesterday and I'm going to eat while watching something on TV. Although I feel like I don't want to watch anything but I feel a bit exhausted so I don't feel like I can read or do anything else at the moment. So yeah, I'll just eat and watch something. So I just received a delivery. I ordered a cat tree for Oliver. I ordered from RHR Pets. That's the name of the company because they are known for their large cat trees for large cats. If you don't know, Oliver is a Maine Coon and they can grow in size until they're about four years old. And he's only two. He's just turned two at the beginning of the month and he's already huge and he's too big for his cat trees already but not only that the regular cat trees are too fragile for him and he has one cat tree that is a small one he loves it but he really ruined it and I can't see it anymore you know <laughs> every time I clean the house I get so annoyed by this because it's really ripped apart so I decided to buy a small cat tree for him but big in size that he can comfortably go to sleep and enjoy and it's not too fragile for him to sharp his claws so let's build it up and see if it's good as it looks on the website So 
but just to give you a review this is stunning I think it's the best quality of a cat tree that I've ever seen I don't know how to call this but as you can see it's huge and it looks very sturdy so Oliver won't rip it apart after one use and even this box it's huge with regular cat trees it can't enter those finally you'll have a place where he can actually sit you can see in this cat tree for example which is also quite big for a regular cat tree we just use it to store some of his items because he can't go inside it's too small for him and also the base is huge my goodness it's huge I did not expect this to be that big and the quality is amazing I honestly would love to go and sleep here and there's Oliver is checking it out already let's see so just to give you some reference for how big this tree actually is I can honestly sit here it's huge it looks very sturdy and I'm actually super happy about it James will probably kill me <laughs> I'm sure he doesn't think that we need another cat tree nor that we need to replace one of our cat trees but oh well is in Israel and I had a lot of time to think <laughs> and a lot of time to clean the house and a lot of time to get annoyed by this cat tree and I just impulsively bought this cat tree but I honestly don't regret it it's great it's very very beautiful as well and it looks so comfy and I'm so happy for Oliver now that he can sleep comfortably in a bed that is made for his size but anyway that's that that's my review I highly recommend it if you have a large cat or if you're looking for something that is very sturdy and that seems that is going to last for a long time I'll leave a link for it down below it's not sponsored or anything like that as I said I impulsively bought it <laughs> But yeah, I'm really happy with it. Right now I'm going to make myself a cup of coffee because I'm so tired and then I'll continue on with my... Oh, no, no, no. I first need to take these boxes away. No, before coffee, I'll take these boxes away. I'll put the cat tree in... I was about to say that I'll put this cat tree where it belongs, but I don't think that the old cat tree that I want to replace, <laughs> I don't think that space will be enough for this one. I need to find a place for this cat tree and then I'll have a cup of coffee. Yeah, that's the right order. Yeah, invest a lot of money on a beautiful cat tree and then your cat will choose to sleep on the couch. Do you see his ears? He knows that I'm talking about him. Yeah, I'm talking about you, man. What, what's the story? Anyway, he will love this bed eventually. I'm sure of it. In case you were wondering, this is the cat tree that I want to replace. Look at what he did to it. Excuse the mess, but this is what I'm going to do. I think I'll take this one and pull it where the old one was and then take the new one and put it here. We'll try and see how that goes. So, we have a bit of a situation. <laughs> this cat tree is too big for the hole. I know, Oliver, I know. So basically this space is too small and also I have this painting that my brother and my sister-in-law got us so I don't want to remove this and we need uh, the shelter here and it's too small so I'm wondering what to do <laughs> I, I, I. Another idea that I have, this bookshelf used to be in my room, but I took it out because I added the keyboard there, so I felt like there's not so much space in my room, so I brought it here. But I'm thinking to take this back and then to put the big one here. I already checked the sizes and everything, and it's suitable for this space. But then I don't know what I'll do with this one. We really need to find a house because this house is too small for me. <laughs> I'd give it away, but I know that we're looking for a bigger house. So I know that we'll need more than just one cat tree. And this one is really good, actually. It's not that big, but still it holds him and it's very sturdy as well. Anyway, let's do that. God, I don't love it at all in this corner. I really need to find a better place. 
Oh my goodness. So I ended up having this cat tree here and the other one here, although it's too big, but I can't think of another solution right now. For now, it will be here. I brought back this bookshelf because I prefer it to be here than in my room because I really don't have a place for it. So I brought it back. I'll put all the books back and yeah, quite of an afternoon. I'm really laughing at myself right now <laughs> because I just deep cleaned the house like two days ago and now I'm changing everything around, putting everything back the way it was and I'm just creating more work for me and all I wanted to do was to have a break, to have a cup of coffee and to continue working on my website and editing and stuff like that but anyway that's fine, I love organizing my books so I'll put some music on, it's always fun to play with your books so that's okay so yes I hope I'll finish with this as soon as possible so I can have this cup of coffee that I urgently need. That's it, everything is right in the world again. <laughs> Finally, coffee in hand. So I thought I'll sit down and chat with you for a little bit. So basically I reorganized everything. So that took a while. It's now 4.30 p.m. Usually my last coffee is around 1 p.m. or so. Well, I wanted to have a coffee at 1 p.m. but... Oh well. <laughs> I feel like I'm so out of routine in the past two weeks, which is very confusing and frustrating for me because I very much rely on routines and when I'm out of routine I'm out of shape basically. Last week, the whole week I was very very sick. I had my cluster headaches. If you don't know what it is, it's really painful headaches and no one knows exactly why they occur and the only way to relieve the pain is to breathe from an oxygen mask for like 20 minutes but even when you do that it let's say if the pain you feel is around 10 after you use the oxygen mask for 20 minutes the pain is around 7 and for me at least it doesn't last too long as well so I need to do it constantly and I'm practically connected to that uh, oxygen mask and this pain is so frustrating that the only thing you can think of is that please someone rip my head off, that's what you want to do. And as soon as that was over, James went to Israel, which also uh, takes me out of routine as well. And I also needed to help him with, you know, organizing everything before that. But I was also very stressed because I didn't do the things I wanted to do the week before and I didn't upload a video on Wednesday. I didn't even start on editing or filming a video for the current week and there's so many people that I need to meet and James is flying and there's so many things that I need to do and and, and yes, I was so stressed out. I don't know if you feel that too. I know for sure that people with ADHD struggle with that but I feel like it can also happen to people without ADHD that to some extent when they are out of routine it's really hard for them to bounce back and also maybe to regulate their emotions and to shift from you know one situation to another and to adjust to a new situation and all of that. I don't know if you feel the same or not but I do have ADHD and for me it's a massive struggle to shift from one mood to another, to shift from one situation to another and when I'm out of routine to get back into routine as well so and then what happens is that lovely thing that when you're out of routine and it's really hard for you to get back on it you get stressed by it and then it's even harder for you to get back on track so that happened as well so as soon as James went to Israel I socialized a lot so I saw people in the morning in the afternoon in the evening at night and I feel so exhausted and it's funny because I didn't see anyone for like a day and a half and I still feel so so drained and so exhausted and I feel like I need three months at least to be in solitude and in silence and this is something that I'm really struggling with and I will try not to get emotional because it is an emotional topic for me because I'm an extreme introvert and the reason why I'm saying is because I'm almost 35 years old and I've never met someone like me. So even when I meet people that claim to be introverts, they always want to socialize with me. And I'm talking about like every day for hours. 
And then that puts me in a very weird spot because first of all, I feel very lonely in that place. I feel like I'm not normal and nobody likes that. And I feel like it's really hard to express myself and articulate what I'm feeling without hurting people. And I love all the people I have in my life. I'm surrounded by gorgeous people. I love each and every one of them. And they always tell me to be myself. They always tell me to remove the mask and tell them when I feel like it's too much and tell them when I can't see them, tell them when I can't talk on the phone or whatever. But the thing is that when I do and I feel comfortable and I say that, nobody takes it in a nice way at least not from my experience and i totally understand that because it it hurts it feels when someone says like okay even if they say it in the most amazing way the bottom line is that they need some time alone and in a way they had enough they can't take it anymore they can't listen anymore they can't they can't smile anymore they can't socialize anymore so in a way it's saying like i've had enough of you I don't mean that. When I tell people I can't go out tonight or I can't come see you or I can't take this phone call or it takes me a week to reply to a message, the reason is because I really feel like I can't and it's because I love this person so deeply and I don't want to hurt them. So I don't know how to say that and I don't know how to find the words. But when I do, people translate it to you don't like me or now that I really need a friend you're not available to listen or I just want to spend time with you and you should want to spend some time with me and and why don't you and people take it very personal because they think it means something about them when it's actually all about me and about me trying to put myself back together because for me it's very draining to socialize as an extreme introvert. It's not because I don't like socializing and it's not because I don't understand the importance of, of my relationships and I, as I said, I love all the people in my life. They are incredible. But when I don't want to go out, that doesn't mean that I don't like them or that I don't like to hang out with them or that I or that I don't like going out. I actually love going out. I love seeing people. I love meeting new people as well. I love going out. I love traveling. I love having conversations. I love celebrating. I love being their friend. I feel like it's a privilege that I'm surrounded by so many people that really want to be my friend and I know and appreciate how fortunate I am to have these people in my life. And together with that, I'm also very, very struggling to maintain all of that because I need a lot of time to recharge. Now, I'm really looking into ADHD and what it means because I've been recently diagnosed with ADHD and as soon as I diagnosed, I felt a little bit sad as if I got a sort of proof that something is actually wrong with me and that my brain is not like others. The good thing was that I applied to PhD programs at that time so I didn't have much time to think about it. But now two years have passed since my diagnosis so I started to learn a, a lot about it and to connect the dots with different situations in my life and I suddenly realized that a lot of things that I blamed on situation in my life so, or the way that I was raised or the way that I talk to myself or the way I live my life suddenly I realized that it's not about that and it's just because the fact that my brain works differently and being an introvert with ADHD I'm not sure if that relates but I feel like it does I feel like it has a very clear connection but I'm not sure that's true it's just the way I see it because ADHD means that it's hard for you to focus and you constantly try to filter out distraction and then when you're in a social setting and you're trying to focus on a conversation it can be very very difficult and for me to focus on what other people tell me is extremely important I always want to be all in and I'm always like actively listening and asking follow-up questions 
questions and I'm really interested and it's something that you know I, I, I love the people that I have in my life so I want to know and, and, I'm, and I'm interested in that but it's extremely hard for me to do that and to filter all the distractions that we have in a social setting so that makes it even more exhausting for me another reason why I think ADHD can amplify these feelings is because the ADHD mind can be a whirlwind of thoughts and ideas. They overthink everything, which can be both exhilarating but also overwhelming. And this constant mental stimulation always makes me seek out a more quieter environment and solitary activities to balance this. So I think it makes it even harder for introverts that need to socialize and yeah, it's too much. Another thing is that people with ADHD may struggle with regulating their emotions and that may lead to feel more stressed in a social interaction. There's a lot of unpredictability with interacting with people, so it can just add up to the stress and the overwhelming feeling that you have, and it's very hard to find balance as well. There are many other reasons that I feel like ADHD can make it harder for introverts, but the video is already too long. So this is what I'm struggling with right now. I don't know exactly how to manage it or to find the balance that I need and to put boundaries and the strategies that I use at the moment don't seem to work for me so I need to find another way but if you have any tips or any ideas please let me know and if you're struggling with that um, you can share your experience at least we will know that we're not alone if you're watching and you are in a relationship but you are from the other side like you don't understand the, the person that always cancels on you or seem like they don't want to see you but they do and you kind of like feel like very confused I feel like for me it would have been helpful to know that the people in my life are not taking this on themselves and then I would have been much more free I think because the problem is that when I tell someone what I really want to do they don't take it well and they get really offended and they, they think that it's because I hate them or because I don't want to spend time with them or I don't care about them or, you know, things like that. When the truth is that I really physically can't. I really hope I didn't burden you with this uh, conversation. It's just that it's what really going on in my mind right now, especially after being a social butterfly in the past three days. So I really feel it in my body. Um, so I thought I'd share because that's what I'm here for, to document my life and share my journey. And if by any chance I made someone else feel a bit better than that's a day well spent anyway so i will let you go now i will continue working on my website right now because i really want to publish it and i'll update you later like that the website is now published I published it about two hours ago and then for about two hours I was still editing and tweaking it a little bit more and now I can't sit any longer it's 7 p.m. right now and I'm starving I'm going to make pizza and I'm going to close this computer because I know that if not I will probably sit here even more so here it goes that's it close the computer i look so tired because i am my goodness yeah it was a long day I have my 
my pizza ready. I also am going to watch Pocahontas. I love the old Disney movies. So I'm going to end this vlog here because honestly I'm super tired and I just want to, you know, eat my pizza, chill and not to think about anything. I do have some laundry that I need to hang but I'll do that after I finish this movie and then i'll take a shower and call it a night thank you so much for spending the day with me and i hope you'll have an amazing day and i'll see you next time bye he looks so tiny in his new bed <laughs>